and welcome to ESC TV. Uh, today we're interviewing Professor Kowi on the current trends in e-health. Um, Professor Kowi, my first question would be, what exactly is e-health? Well, e-health is an integral part of what we do as cardiologists nowadays, and it's the use of information or communication technology to support either healthcare or health in general. So quick examples might be use of electronic medical records is e-health. Use of e-prescribing, particularly across borders, is an example of e-health. But perhaps cardiologists are more aware of it in terms of decision support software and also the increasing area of remote monitoring of various conditions, such as heart failure. And the last aspect that's covered by e-health is also now called m-health, or mobile health. And that's a smartphone application or a patch you might wear or a wristband that collects health data and can be used for health purposes. So e-health is a huge umbrella term that includes a lot of different aspects that we are familiar with as cardiologists. Okay, thank you very much, that's clear. Um, and my next question will be, what's the uh, present role of the ESC in e-health or m-health? Can you alert on that? Yes, and the ESC is thinking long and hard about what its role should be, because obviously healthcare professionals and organizations are one of the key stakeholders in the development of anything in health for cardiovascular purposes. I think we're getting more involved with that. The ESC will be publishing a position paper in collaboration with the working group on e-cardiology on where e-health is going and the involvement of cardiologists and also our patients look to us to, for advice particularly about apps as to which ones might be good, which ones might be useful and we need to think and navigate our way through some of the legal issues and the data protection issues that are particularly important for European citizens. And um, what do you think the role of the ESC will be in the future, in the near future? Would it have to expand to that? and. Well, I think the role of cardiologists in general and our organization will be to be right there in the center about using modern technologies to support more efficient delivery of health care, better outcome for patients, better healthy lifestyle choices by our citizens, and better use of our time as cardiologists so we're more efficient and we can look after more patients at less cost using technology. And there's lots of examples already, for example, using pacing technologies, mm -hmm. remotely monitoring them instead of asking patients to come up to hospital. So 10 years from now, I think it's be difficult to recognize the way we deliver health care. Technologies are firmly in there, our patients expect it, families expect it, and cardiologists should be quite comfortable with that. I think one important aspect of the whole e-health um, is also standardization. Do you think there's a role of the ESC uh, also in standardization? I think an important part is quality control. Okay. Standardization is an important part of that. Whether the ESC moves into endorsing particular products or approaches, I'm not sure, but certainly cardiologists and the organizations need to be involved in the journey of a new technology from first being thought about to actually its application um, in patient care. So it's an important process, standardization is part of that, but lots of things we need to think about. But we need to embrace this new world. It's the way the world is going, we need to be part of this and part of the discussion. Thank you very much for Thank this uh, interview.